Make up my mind. Decide. Are you going to buy the blue car or the green car? I don't know. I haven't made up my mind yet. He's finally made up his mind. He's going to study business. I can't decide if I should go to the party tonight or just stay in. You've been going back and forth all day. It's time to make up your mind. I know, I just hate missing out, but I'm so tired. Well, you've got to choose. Either way, just make up your mind soon. Stay up. Stay awake later than one's usual bedtime. Why are you so tired today? I stayed up late last night. When my husband works late, I stay up until he gets home. Are you planning to stay up late tonight? Yeah, I've got a lot to finish. You? I might stay up for a bit, but I don't want to be exhausted tomorrow. Same, but it's so hard to stop once you're in the zone. True, just don't stay up too late. Oversleep. Wake up later than planned. I'm behind schedule this morning because I overslept. I use three alarm clocks so that I never oversleep. Oh no, I overslept. Again? What time is it? It's almost 10. I was supposed to be up at 7. Well, at least you got some extra rest. Yeah, but now I'm running late for everything. Just take a deep breath. You can still make it through the day. You're right, I'll just have to move a bit faster. About to do something. Going to do something very soon. Is Dan still here? Yes, but you'd better talk to him now. He's about to leave. Have you written that letter yet? No, but I'm about to do it right now. What are you up to? I'm about to make some coffee. Want some? Sure. I was about to ask you for one anyway. Perfect timing then. On my way. Going to a place, but not at the place yet. Did you call the police? Yes, they're on their way. They will be here very soon. We need some milk. Okay, I'll ask Dad to buy some on his way home. Hey, where are you? I'm on my way. Just left the house. Great. See you soon. Get sidetracked. Become distracted from something important. You burned dinner. Yes. While I was cooking, my mom called and I got sidetracked. I didn't finish my homework. There was a good movie on TV, so I got sidetracked. How's the project coming along? It's going well, but I keep getting sidetracked. By what? Everything. I started organizing my desk then ended up deep into an article about productivity. Classic. Try setting a timer next time so you don't get sidetracked. Gone for the day. Say this when someone will not come back that day. Could I speak to Mr. Hens? Sorry, he's gone for the day. He will be in the office tomorrow morning. Kate's gone for the day. You can reach her at home. Hey, is Sarah around? I need to ask her something. Oh, sorry. She's gone for the day. Really? I didn't realize it was that late. Yeah, she wrapped up early. 
You can catch her tomorrow. In the food business, say this to show the industry someone works in. Mr. Saito is in the shoe business. He exports shoes. What do you do? I'm in the publishing business. I'm an editor. Note. What do you do? Means. What is your job? You seem to know a lot about coffee. I've been in the coffee business for over a decade. It's in my blood. Impressive. Ever think of expanding into tea? Not really. I'm in the business of perfecting one thing at a time. A win-win situation. A situation that has good results in many ways. Buying a house is a win-win situation. If you sell it, you make money. If you keep it, you make money. I rent a room in my brother's house. He needs the extra money. I need a room. It's a win-win situation. I just finished negotiating that deal. We get a lower price, and they get a long-term contract. Nice. Sounds like a win-win situation. Exactly. Both sides walk away happy. That's it. Nothing more. You're going to Europe? To France? Germany? Spain? Just to Italy. That's it. We have just 24 hours to finish this project. 24 hours? That's it? Yes. That's all the time we have. Did you finish the report? Yep, that's it. All done. Great, let's send it off. That's it, just hit send. It's about time. It is overdue, but it is finally happening. The package arrived. It's about time. I've been waiting for weeks. Sam is getting married. Great. It's about time. He's 46 years old. Did you hear? Jake finally finished that novel he was working on for years. Wow, it's about time. I thought he'd never get it done. I know, right? I can't wait to read it. Get it. Answer the phone. The phone's ringing. I'll get it. I think it's for me. The phone's ringing. Could you get it? I'm busy. Hey, can you get it? The phone's been ringing for a while. I'm busy right now. Can you get it? I'll get it this time. Just answer it quickly, okay? Pick something up. Collect something. I left my book at your house. Could I come over later and pick it up? I'm from ABC Company. I'm here to pick up an envelope. Oh, yes, here it is. Note. We can say, pick something up. Pick up something. Pick it up. Pick them up. But, not, pick up it. Pick up them. Hey, can you pick up the groceries on your way home? I was planning to, but I forgot my list. Can you remind me what to pick up? Just the usual. Milk, eggs, and bread. Got it. I'll pick it up and be home in about an hour. Thanks. Oh, and don't forget to pick up the dry cleaning too. No problem. I'll pick it up right after I get the groceries. Great. See you soon. See you.
Can I take a rain check? Can we change the plan to another time in the future? I have to cancel our plans for lunch today. Can I take a rain check? Sure. How about tomorrow? Would you like to go out for dinner tonight? Sorry, I can't make it tonight. Can I take a rain check? Hey, do you want to grab dinner tonight? I'd love to, but can I take a rain check? Something came up at work. No worries. Let me know when you're free. Take time off. Decide not to go to work for a short time. I took three months off after I had the baby. I'm going to take a week off because I need a vacation. You look exhausted. Why don't you take a day off? I've been thinking about it, but there's so much to do. You've been working nonstop. It's okay to take some time off. Maybe you're right. I could really use a break. Exactly. A day off will help you recharge and come back even stronger. On top of that, in addition to, also, my neighbor is noisy. He plays loud music at night and he has lots of parties. On top of that, his dog barks a lot. I'm very busy. I have two children, I work full time, and on top of that, I take evening classes. I finally finished my report for work. That's great. But I heard you had to stay late to get it done. Yeah, I did. And on top of that, I had to help my colleague with their project too. Wow, that sounds exhausting. You deserve a break. Put clothes on. This is not the same as wear clothes. First we put clothes on, then we are wearing clothes. I ate breakfast quickly, put my coat on, and ran out of the house. He's only two years old. He doesn't know how to put on his shoes. Note. We can say, put something on. Put on something. Put it on. Put them on. But not. Put on it. Put on them. Hurry up. We're going to be late. I'm trying. Just need to put my shoes on. Did you put your jacket on? It's cold outside. Not yet. Let me put it on real quick. All right, but put on that hat too. The wind is brutal today. Got it. Putting it on now. Ready to go? I didn't mean that. Say this, when someone does not understand what you said. You're very big. You think I'm fat? No, I didn't mean that. I meant you're very tall. I want you to work over the weekend. Boss, I can't work every weekend. I didn't mean that. I meant this weekend. So, you're saying, you don't want to go to the concert with me? No, no, I didn't mean that. I just thought, you might have other plans. Oh, I see. I really want to go with you though. Great. Then let's do it. I'm sorry, if I made it sound like, I didn't want to. Do you mind if I join you? Ask this for permission to be with someone. We're going to the movies. Do you mind if I join you? No, we don't mind. Please come along. Hi Jane. Do you mind if I join you? Actually, I'm leaving now, but you can have my seat. 
Do you mind if I join you? Not at all. Please do. Thanks. I've been wanting to try this place for a while. It's one of my favorites. What did you get? Just a latte. How's the book? It's pretty good. Care to talk about it? Sure, I'd love to. Chip in. Contribute money. Every summer, my friends and I chip in $100 each to rent a boat. My older brothers and sisters chipped in to pay for my education. We're planning a surprise party for Emily next weekend. Do you want to help out? Sure. What do you need me to do? We're all chipping in for the cake and decorations. If you could chip in a few dollars, that would be great. Of course. I'll chip in twenty dollars. Does that work? Perfect. Thanks so much. Drop someone off. Take someone to a place and leave them there. Could you drop me off at the bank? Sure, I'm going to drive right past the bank. Why are you late? I dropped Sharon off at her house. Her car broke down. Hey, can you drop me off at the library on your way to work? Sure, no problem. What time do you need to be there? By 9 a.m. would be perfect. Got it. I'll drop you off around 8.45. Does that work? That works, thanks. End up doing something. Finally do something. Tim was a bad student. How did he end up becoming a doctor? At first, business was good, but our costs were very high. So, we ended up losing money. How did you spend your weekend? I planned to go hiking, but I ended up staying home and watching movies all day. That sounds relaxing. I ended up cleaning the entire house when I just meant to organize my desk. It's funny how plans change so quickly, isn't it? You shouldn't have. Say this to show appreciation when receiving a gift. I bought you this gift. Thank you, but you shouldn't have. It's nothing really. Happy anniversary. A gift for me? You shouldn't have. My pleasure. Note. It's nothing, and my pleasure, are polite replies to, thank you. I got you something special for your birthday. Oh wow, you shouldn't have. I wanted to. You deserve it. Thank you, this really means a lot. The day after tomorrow. Two days from today. Not, tomorrow after tomorrow. Tomorrow is July 3rd, so, the day after tomorrow, is July 4th. I'm getting married in three days. So the day after tomorrow, is your last day as a single man. When are we heading out for the hike? Not tomorrow, but, the day after tomorrow. Got it. So, the day after tomorrow, we're finally conquering that trail? Yep, get ready. The day after tomorrow, it's happening for sure. Take turns doing something. Alternate. For example, you, then, me, then, you, then, me. My partner and I take turns opening the shop. Last year, my husband and I both worked, so we took turns cooking dinner. I was thinking, 
We could take turns planning the weekend trips. That sounds fair. We can also take turns driving, so it's not all on one person. Great idea. And we should take turns picking the music, too. Agreed. Let's take turns choosing the restaurants as well. Perfect. This way, we both get to enjoy our favorite spots. Remind someone to do something. Say something to help someone remember to do something. Could you remind Sharon to order more envelopes? I think she forgot. When we get to the grocery store, please remind me to buy some eggs. Note. Grocery store means store that sells food and small household items. Hey, could you remind me to call the electrician later? Of course. When do you want me to remind you? Around 4 p.m. would be perfect. Got it. And, can you remind me to pick up the groceries on your way back? No problem. I'll text you before I leave work. Thanks. Let's not forget this time. 